Alright guys, so they're playing some uh, Nautilus top lane versus Riven, and what we have is Grasp, Demolish, Bone Plating, Overgrowth, Biscuits, Cosmic, and then also a D-Ring. So we're back playing a Nautilus, and the last few times I did it, it is absolutely the most broken thing that I have ever played. It was a really fun time, and we're going to bring it back. Like, not as top lane is, in my opinion, far better than uh, support will ever be. Actually, it's very viable top lane right now. I think there's going to be... Um, like, not as is the perfect off meta champ for now, but I'm pretty confident saying that in the future, as we, you know, play more and more, Nautilus will eventually turn into a meta top laner again. I'm pretty sure about it. People don't know the strength of this champ at the moment. But once people figure out what, like, what Nautilus is capable of doing, I'm pretty sure, like, he's gonna be picked on stuff. Nice. She shields it ev everything away. That's fine with me. I'm going for, like, a tanky build this game, uh, as my team is gonna need it. Ooh, I lost that one. Um, plus, I'm thinking towards going, like, hard steel, Just so I can, like, stack up the, uh, the HP, then combine it with Sonify and Thormel. Either way, it's going to make me very unkillable. We're going to like it. Also, thinking about going for like an E-Max as well. So I can non-stop like poke down this guy. Don't want to hard shove too much. This guy already ran out of three potions. Cool. That's really good news. Uh, we're about to get uh, ganked right here. Too bad for you, buddy. I'll play. <laughs> and somebody's about to die as well. Or not. Maybe you're wrong here. Okay. You're dead, buddy. Please don't push it. Yes. Yes, the dream jungler does not push it. I am very, very happy with that. I'm not going to lie. So uh, let's go ahead, build a Kindle gym. Excellent. And let's jump. And it failed. <laughs> I just tried to reach out a little bit too far. It's fine, though. I hope I'm going to get back to lane fast enough because it's actually shoving just, just a little bit too fast. Just a little bit. I think the cannon will go down, but I will get to reach out from most of the farm. Yes. In fact, I got the XP, so it's all worth it. I care more about the XP than the uh, than the gold, if you ask me. Got it. All right. I'm gonna put the lane into sort of like a slow push as much as I can. So if Riffin decides to go for a last hit, I can then just, you know, all in, let the entire wave just hit Riffin. Um, certainly don't mind getting ganked as well, by the way, but Lilia, I think I can, I think I can probably 1v2. Wouldn't surprise me. Uh, I don't really want to use my Q2 quickly. I think that should be about enough because I'm about to get my ultimate now. So, oh, she already died. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess now you understand what I'm talking about, don't you? Like, Nautilus top lane is, in my opinion, perfection, man. I don't know. Every single time I play Nautilus... Oh. I lose another cannon. Every single time I play Nautilus this is kind of what happens. The champ is very straightforward. Okay, we're about to get like two plates. I think I'm going to... I'm down to like stay around for one more as I'm uh, pretty confident in being able to stay and kill Riffin once more. So let's push this out as well. Pop an E right here. It's a shield. Nice. I gotta back off here. As much as I'd like to stay, I'm uh, running short of mana. If we force ourselves to stay up here, then she will likely just start fighting me and I will start losing because I can't, like, use anything, right? Let's go for that one. Let's go for a little bit of armor. <laughs> and 
Minsk back. So this game, I'm thinking a little bit uh, towards going for steel caps. Just a little bit. But I also really want to have lucidity boots. Uh, partially because of the fact that like abilities get low cooldown, I can just reuse everything. It really depends on um, on how much we're going to snowball. If if the snowball doesn't go as expected, we will go steel caps. But otherwise, I'm, I think I'm probably going to end up building lucidity boots. Just for the lowest cooldown. Because the lower cooldown we can get on our abilities right here, the, the more likely we can get kills. Because we, we can also reduce the cooldown on all the CC. So, it just allows me to engage more. The more we can engage, the more impact we can make on the map. I think we're, we're getting uh, we're getting Silas up here. My R is not going to work because I think that she will just dash away. And I also think there's probably wards. Okay, let's go. Well, let the fun begin, I suppose. I can probably just walk up here. Yeah. Well, there it is. <laughs> I've taken a bit too much damage. Far too much. But I think I, I should be able to kill him right here. Yeah. She didn't try and... She didn't try to hide away from the Q. I don't think she expected me to engage, I feel like. I just don't think that Riven expected me to engage. Seriously. I, like, she was trying to, like, uh, Q the wave up there. Let me just push this out. So what I'm thinking about doing now is actually going for the W max. A little bit unexpected, but it's what I'm thinking about because um, if you max W, you actually gain quite a bit of good useful stuff, such as the percentage max health, magic damage, shield amount. I think I like that quite a lot. We're going to be doing it. Just need a little bit more in order to get my item. I'm just going to get a secondary armor, which I can upgrade into uh, Bramble later. It seems like she goes live still, so it's always good to have Bramble's vest. So I can cut that healing away. Let's make it back. Mid lane is getting crushed a little bit in terms of farm, but soon enough we'll fix it. We can just shuff out top lane and just start rotating. Okay, time to engage. Or well, before this. <laughs> the wave is absolutely meaningless. Hmm. Okay. I could technically press my E right there, but, um. In like half the damage wouldn't apply. Yeah, here again, I could technically press it, but um, it's better if I don't. It will save me the mana. I, I, I want to try and hit like the maximum amount of damage you can do with E. And that's by staying like close to the target, which is currently not the case. I also want to do like an auto W to maximize damage there. That's why I wait with my E. Just so I can maximize. I think we're, uh, we might maybe get ganked. Oh, nice stun again. Riffin is a counter in, in, in a sly way because she can actually uh, cancel my my whole trait. That makes sense. Oh, I did hit one of them. Oh, she's gonna die right here. Yep. Now we take this one. We're uh, definitely being ganked by Lilia. <laughs> There's no doubting it. So I'm just gonna walk this direction. If she were to like walk from the path here, I would just engage because the wave would actually start focusing Lilia. 
you know? Let's go for Hearthstone, let's go for Bremble, and Tier 1 Boots. Yeah, this will uh, definitely be, well, I wouldn't say a challenging game. We're already, like, pretty fed, but it gets quite scary when your team says hard losing. We'll see how it goes. Uh, fortunately, our team comp is better than theirs. Far better. Only because you got the Nautilus pick. They don't really have a tank in their team comp, so I can just do whatever I want to. Goodbye. I I purposely move forward a little bit because um, by doing so I can see where in what direction she's gonna walk into and that just makes hitting the ability far easier to do. So instead of like hitting Q instantly, you just want to wait and wait and wait until the time is right and then you uh, and then you press Q. Oh, she's moving up to the fight in the river, so let's prevent this from going wrong. Nice. Oh, this guy's about to die. Or not yet. Okay, they still got him, cool. The range from Nautilus Ultimate is so broken too as well, by the way. Now we push. Get the next wave as well, plus the... I, I want to get the entire tower and get the plating down before uh, before it expires. Let's grab this. I think we may or may... Yeah, yeah, yeah there she is. Nice. Good catch. Really good catch. I am happy that we had the jungle up here to be able to make this play, because without the jungle, this would never work. There's two people top lane. Um, we're definitely buying a Thormel right here, but um, I also want to go Sunfire. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I, I, I'm just going to end up going Lucidity Boots. And then I'll just get the Bammy Cinder. And that will give me the clearing speed that I'm looking for. And then later on, as we progress more, we're going to upgrade into Thormel. So, uh, that's in progress right there. I don't need Thormel right, right away. It's fine if I don't get Thormel now. I prefer Bammy Cinder. Well, that does no damage. <laughs> that does no damage at all. Hmm. Nice. Um, let's see if we can catch this Riven right here. Someone's about to die. Let me just catch this guy first. Yeah, that's why I went for Leona, because I thought that this guy would probably get away. Hmm. Well, too bad. I should have pressed my R sooner in the team fight. I think that could have made a solid difference. It probably would. But yeah, it's fine, whatever. Let me just grab like one more wave. Hold on. Oh, wave clear on this champ is honestly like a, the dream wave clear that you would want on any champion, man. Like, we're going for like a full tank build. And yes, we do have a lot of damage from the tank items, of course. But like not direct like AP damage or anything. Like the damage we got as like pure raw damage 
is honestly a, a, a thing that like you could dream on any champion man like we we can just uh hit e in the middle of the wave hit like an auto w whole wave is gone already the bammy cinder will clean it up takes like no effort Uh, unfortunately, too many people, so... Yeah, that sucks. I think my teammates could be able to clean up, because they used all the ultimates. Yeah. That was worth a lot of gold. So it's not good for me. Okay, two catches. Actually, shutdowns too. Lily apparently had a shutdown as well. <laughs> We're trading shutdowns right now. Oh, Senna's gonna die. Yep. It would have been like so much more clean at the end of the day if Senna just never did that. This guy had 50 HP. Of course you're gonna die. Oh, Sivir could have just killed him if he walked up. Well, got him. Zipper walks away. We can just kill these people. I don't know what to say, man. Sivir could have killed Oriana in mid lane before I even arrived, and Sivir could have also just killed these two people as I was tanking them, but Sivir just walked away. Hmm. All right. Uh, let's go for my sound fire. Nice, got it. Alright, next item is gonna be Thormel. We're gonna be walking top immediately afterwards. So the plan, we're gonna adjust the plan a little bit. I'm I'm trying to engage in mid, trying to get the team fights going, which doesn't quite work because we don't have people grouped at the moment. A little bit of a plan adjustment. I'm gonna be splitting top lane, push it out all the all the way, and then once my teammates are mid, fully grouped, then we engage. So a bit of a, a bit of a plan here. Okay, let's push another one. We got 3.6k HP, man. That's a lot. And my W is maxed out now. Let's walk towards mid. This play, I hope it's gonna work. We have a really good flank right behind them. Oh, never mind. It's not gonna work anymore. Oh, maybe it does. They probably expect me to walk in as soon as I do this. Walk around. Uh, they, they don't expect it. This Drake is gonna be for free now. Yep, another one. Let's push this out as well. We should honestly just force a dragon at this point would be the best. We don't have a, uh, we don't have Smide. Oh well, he's gonna refuse to do it, okay. Let's go back real quick. I definitely need to get Stone Plate. There you go. I, ne I need Stone Plate very badly because I, I wanna go Thormel for the enemy team. Can't really do it because they have so much damage on Lilia or Yon at the moment. Riven is pushing top. I can't I can't afford to lose this wave, man. Can't do it. Too hard. There you go. 
Probably Dragon's gonna be lost now. Got one guy dead. Hmm. Mm, yeah, I wish I was pushing top still. Would have been better. I'll just get the wa the wave in mid. So yeah, we we can start up any fight, but this, this game is still pretty rough. We have so many problems with Ilya and Oriana. Trinomir is stealing the whole jungle. So jungle is going to be gone. Well. Ah, she got away through flashing. I have flash too, but oh, what? Okay. Oh, not too bad. Yeah, time to go back. We need to take care of top lane because Tournament is like split pushing it again, so. There you go. I need stone play very badly. After stone play, we uh, we immediately uh, go Thormill afterwards. Hmm. Oh, nice. He'll be forced to press R. The next one, I think that Riffin will show up there as well. Oriana is split pushing Balang, which is uh, acceptable. She has teleport, so it would make sense. She can just teleport around if she wants. We don't have that luxury this game since we're playing with Ignite. We need like 200 more. I haven't seen Riffin yet either. She should be showing here somewhere. There she is. Teammates are popping up in, in mid lane. Maybe we're lucky that she's going to pass through here. We'll see how much we can engage. Well, I'm bad. Oh, <laughs> the Q missed. <laughs> So went into uh, melee range for that one. Yeah, I, I've, I'm, I'm slowly coming to realize that Thormel is still important. Despite them having so much AP, I need to get Thormel. Like, Thormel completely counters Riffin completely. I think that most of the damage still, still came from Riffin, didn't it? Oh, no, I'm wrong. Okay, I need Thormel. That's for sure. Let's run mid afterwards. I honestly think that if we start a fight and we have uh, Kai's to see on the back, that it should be completely winnable. The only reason we didn't win here, or while well, Kai'Sa died, is because this guy went melee range inside of ultimate. That just made it so much more difficult. We got the Ariana splitting Bali. You know, I can I can easily one v one her if if I, if I make if, if I get the chance to engage. But I think if I show, then she would just walk away with W. It's very hard to deal. Okay, let's walk Bali once more. We have Ariana showing right here. Oh, let's engage. It should be, uh, should be fine. She doesn't deal any damage. <laughs> I 
<laughs> it takes him such a long time. Well, the enemy team is running this direction. Oh, yeah, I can walk away. Yep. That fight took 29 seconds, by the way. Look. <laughs> it took them half a minute to try and kill me. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's get my Thormel. All right. oh, I think that's a risk kill right here. Oh, she curls it the Oriana. She's alone. She's alone. There was like two people showing on the dragon when uh, Oriana was this low with no mana. Kaisa did. Alright. Well, let's retry. I can't believe how how uh, how difficult the mid game is, man. Like our team comp should be should be better than theirs. Far like far better. If it comes down to a team fight, we should be able to win. Also, by the way, I, I, I've i mentioned this a couple times during the gameplay, but if you ever decide to play Nautilus, highly encourage you to always use your, your W as like an auto reset because it just makes a flat out big difference. We've got Seaver farming topside. Oh, this guy's about to die. Well, I missed my Q. Excellent. I'm trying to I'm trying to reach out my Q far like a little bit too far. Like a few pixels. Well, I can't do it. I need like a bit more. Got it. Oh. Oh. The Sivir could chase him down. I I am not gonna lie with you, man. The Sivir could have gone a lot of kills this game. If he uh, if he all lent. The Leona was alone. Not a chance for them. Oh, she gets away with 50 HP. Sure. Nice. Well, I can't engage on that guy. I'll have to walk away. Let's get my Thormel. Alright. Next we're gonna go bot lane. Uh, I can get like one more item. And I'm thinking... I'm thinking towards... Definitely not War Monks, but I'm thinking more towards either Force of Nature or Randuins. I'm thinking mostly... Uh, about Force of Nature more than... than uh, wait a second. Definitely thinking more about Force of Nature, actually. I feel like I don't have that many problems against Trin. Oh, somebody's about to die. Or not. <laughs> Gets away once again. That's nice proc. Got a free kill right there once again. Cool. Definitely a Baron call right here. That's a nice engage. Look how many stacks I got, by the way. Um, Lilia should be appearing soon. Oh, 
a stun. Uh, I need them to. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. Yeah, let's go back. That guy's gonna die. Shouldn't be uh, destroying Balin. Okay. Oh. Well, I think that might just be the game. Because my teammates don't get to backport. Well, <laughs> that's the game, I guess. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Alright, man. Hey, this is not a stop link. Thanks so much for watching this YouTube video. And I'll see you next time. Peace.